Hello everyone, this is Monkozonki, and what you're seeing in the background of this video is the first Barrows runs on this account. Um, I had a daily challenge to loot four Barrows chests, so I decided I was going to do that. Um, the challenge was very fun, I really liked this challenge, uh, probably one of the best combat challenges I've ever had. Uh, however, the reward was not so great, and you'll see exactly what the reward is at the end of the video, as always. Um, but anyway, I'll also show the loot that I get from Barrow's chest, of course. I did not get any items. Uh, not trying to be too much of a spoil sport there, but um, I guess if anyone was too interested if I got items or not, they could just skip to the end of the video anyway and see that. Um, but I have a few more series topics uh, to talk about in this video. So, if you are still young and wild and carefree and don't have to worry about... Uh, being in financial difficulty or um, going to college and possibly finding a way to do that or any of that stuff quite yet you might want to give this video a miss because it might not interest you as much um, the main reason I wanted to talk some things over is because I've reached the point uh, in my I guess my YouTube career where I'm finally becoming a, a little bit successful uh, I would say probably the first time I've ever been at least a little bit successful is something I've really enjoyed doing in my life um, and it's a shame that it's kind of just all happening at this time. Uh, my parents and other relatives in the state where I live in have made it clear that um, staying with them while attending college would not be an option. Um, I would have to get a place of my own. And the state where I live in, uh, the job market is extremely, extremely tough. It's one of the worst states in the U.S. Uh, job-wise as well as um, just the living costs and stuff is very expensive in this state. Um, so I don't know how much of an option it really is to stay in this state. Um, also, I did not finish high school. I actually um, I dropped out uh, with... I was in high school for three years. I completed two years, and I dropped out. The reason uh, for that was my parents were in financial difficulty, um, and my grandparents said I could stay with them as long as I found work. So I worked a little bit after leaving high school. But anyway, um, I have a GED instead of a full high school diploma, which means I cannot attend a four-year university without attending a community college or a technical college, a two-year course first. So that means I would have to attend a community college first. Um, also, the community colleges uh, nearby where I live in are not the best. They are quite expensive compared to most other community colleges, um, as well as just not being uh, the best. I've had a couple friends who went to the community colleges here, and they said they had um, not the best experiences. So I'm more looking for most likely another state. I'm, I've been looking around. I've found some options, uh, some states where the job market is much better, uh, community college is cheaper and of higher quality. Um, and I've been exploring some of those options. Of course, if I went to college in another state, I would have to be working full time along with going to college. Um, and that means I need to find a state where finding a full time job is viable for someone like me uh, who has always found it difficult to find a job. I know every state in the U.S. Uh, at the moment it's extremely difficult to find any kind of work and if you're someone who's been trying to find work uh, I completely sympathize you. I have been as well. Um, I have been unemployed for a few months um, and I have been you know searching frantically for a job. Submitted more applications both online and in store than I wish to remember and there's just been nothing that's turned up so far um, but that is more the state that I live in more than just um, the fact that it's not possible for me to find a job but anyway um, it's kind of a bit of a scary uh, thought possibly moving to another state where you might not know anyone in that state um, and having to go to a college that you've never seen before and apply for jobs and stuff like that. Um, I would of course have to get a student loan if I was going to um, go to another state but I would have to get a student loan if I was going to stay in this state as well um, just because I would not be provided housing. So anyway um, I just wanted to talk a bit about that this might affect my YouTube channel a lot I've been doing a lot of research lately I've been trying to uh, figure out ways to possibly be approved for um, some kind of federal grant that might help out a bit with uh, finances and stuff at least pay for college um, I do come from a very very low income background um, so that makes it much easier to find work or I mean find a um, college financial aid and that was kind of a fail there. I actually failed on one of the, the Barrows puzzle, puzzles, if you were paying attention to the video in the background, which I have completely not been up to this point. Uh, I think that's the first time I've ever failed one of the Barrows puzzles. But anyway, that's enough about that. 
pretty much the moral of what I've been rambling on about is, first of all, I want to be straight with everyone. I've been a bit secretive in the past uh, about me. I haven't really said too much about my personal life, and I've been asked a lot um, to talk a little bit more about my personal life. Um, so I don't know um, if I'm going to be moving to another state, and if I do, I will be working full-time as well as attending college probably during the day. So I don't know how well um, YouTube is going to work out. I can say uh, I am starting to make a little bit of money off of YouTube. Uh, like everyone else that has partnered, I'm not allowed to say how much, but I can say that um, I am making enough... Excuse me. I can say I'm making enough through YouTube to actually pay for the internet. So, um, if I did continue to make videos, um, hopefully I would be able to if I ended up moving. Uh, there would not be any issues with uh, financially because the internet would basically pay for itself as long as I continue to make videos. Um, so anyway, that's about all for that. Uh, I would really appreciate any advice if there are any of you out there that have had to go through a similar situation where you've had to uh, move away from somewhere that you grew up um, and had to move to a different state to find work where you didn't know anyone because I'm a bit lost. I've been doing a ton of research on this lately, uh, but of course I'm still a bit young and inexperienced and I don't know everything. Um, so this is my loot that I got from the Barrow's chest that I completed, uh, 140k, which is not the best. The rune prices, of course, have gone up. And I was extremely, extremely disappointed with the actual um, XP reward at the end of this. I got an experience lamp, which you'll see in just a minute, which I was expecting. Um, and four Barrow's runs actually takes quite a bit of time um, if you don't have the Dracon's Medallion and you're not like a maxed out account with really high mage and melee stats and really good gear and all that. And since it took quite a bit of time, I was supposing, yeah, I'll probably get a good, you know, 50k XP from this lamp or something, which was not the case. Uh, I spent the lamp on magic. I would have spent it on summoning if I had the option to, but it did not give me the option to, so I decided to spend the lamp on magic, which is probably the, the hardest to train skill out of the basic combat skills. Uh, no prayer to, of course typical of Jagex, not to uh, give out any free prayer XP. But uh, anyway, here comes the lamp, and it's going to be about, I believe, 8.5k XP, which is a little bit atrocious. 9.5k uh, XP, uh, my bad. But anyway, that is pretty terrible for how much time that took. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you stayed to the end, I apologize. And uh, enjoy future videos. Hopefully future videos will be coming. Uh, we'll see. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and farewell.